This video is on using the EX Toolbox app um, to do speed matching of two locomotives. Uh, also um, required for the process is a DCC EX EX command station. Um, the um, the two locos that I'm going to speed match, the, these two here, uh, are two that I would never ever run together uh, as a consist, but um, just as a useful exercise to go through the process to, to show you what um, what's involved with speed matching two unrelated locomotives and probably run across some of the pitfalls that that, uh, that are associated with that. The um, the first thing I need to, you need to do you need to well you need a loop of track. You need to choose which one of your locomotives is going to be your master. I've deliberately chosen this, but really, if you're doing proper speed matching, you need to make sure that the slowest of the locomotives that you have is is the master, and that may not be the the lead locomotive, uh, because you can always uh, slow down a fast locomotive, but you can't speed up a slow locomotive if that's its maximum capable speed. So to start the process off, um, I need to read the details of this locomotive that I'm going to change. So I've started off uh, EX Toolbox, uh, and uh, if you look at the speed matching page, um, I need to read the values on here because they're the ones we're going to play with. But to do that, I need a programming track. Um, this is currently set for the main, so I'm just going to switch it over to uh, programming. Set it. Go back to speed matching. Oops, wrong one speed matching and I'm going to read the details for that locomotive. It reads about eight values. Um, the low, mid, high, acceleration, deceleration, kickstart, um, and CB29 and its address. Uh, if any of the values come up here as minus one, it means it fails failed to read that value, uh, probably dirty track, dirty wheel, something like that. Uh, and you need to rerun the process so that it's got all the values. So it's grabbed all of those, and it's it's told me about CV29, and this is the 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 other key feature. You can't use this process if it's using the speed table, so it's saying it's not used, which is fine. So it's going to use the low, mid, high values. Um, if it is set for using the speed table, you need to alter that first, uh, and you can do that from the CV programming page, and then some hints on on how to actually change that. The CV29 is a bit of a a confusing one to do. Okay, so I've got my loco, I've got my values, um, I've got to put in the details of the loco that I want to actually speed match it to, which is that one. I'll put it on the track. Yep, so she's on. And I need to change the track now back to main, because this process works by programming on the main, or POM. Set that, turn the power on, go back to the programming uh, speed matching page. Okay, so what I've got is the set speeds for low, mid, and high, and that's about 5% of the throttle, 50% and 100% of the throttle. So I'm going to just start it off on the low speed and just see how they perform. And they're not performing too badly. The black one's possibly just the tiniest bit slower. You can see it, the, the, the gap widening, so I'm going to adjust that. I can either type in a value and hit save, or I can hit the plus which will increase the value. Okay, now it's catching up, so I'm just going to slow it down. I have run these before to, to warm them up a little bit. Now it's caught up a little too well, isn't it? There we go. I think there's a little bit of a kink in the track there because that one struggles at that point. No, it's a bit too slow at that speed. And this is one of the pitfalls, that sometimes you can never get them to run exactly correct. So you might jostle between one value and the next, and it, one's too high, one's too low. Um, I have a personal preference that if I'm running something at the rear or, and I can't get them to exactly speed match, I'll make the rear one slightly faster, which is what I've got here now. So that's probably pretty good. I can't, can't uh, do much better than that. Uh, so I'll now go to the mid-speed. And it needs to be sped up a lot. So I'll type in a value in here, let's say uh, 100, and see what I get. Oops, save that. And it's still up at 3 yet. So I'm going to change the speed, the step size now to 10. So now instead of every time I hit the plus or minus, it's going to increase it. Uh, it's in, instead of increasing it by 1, it's going to increase it by 10. That's 110. 
120. And now it's gone past my high speed value, so I'm just going to increase that. Do, do, oh, save it. But it's still too slow. No. Well, it's not help not helping with this couple together, so I'll just... And one of them has a lot more momentum, which we'll have to correct later. Okay. All right, so let's see how they go. Okay, well now it's too fast. Getting closer. Well, that's back at the 110 where I was, so I'm just going to change my step now again. So let's go step at 1. That's 11, 12. It's catching up, I think. No. And that's running pretty good. So let's try full speed. Way too far. And that's getting pretty close. Okay, so I'm having a bit of fun and games with that one. It's almost back where I was. I am back where I was. Really close. Okay, for the purposes of the exercise, I'm going to call that close enough. You really, you probably fiddle, should fiddle with that more. But now you have to, need to look at a few other things. So acceleration and deceleration. So clearly that's decelerating a lot slower. So I'm going to just decrease that down, see what that looks like. So if I bring them up to speed, and it's accelerating too slow. Uh, Still accelerating a bit too slow. So I bring it down to one. 
Oh, did I save it? I wonder if I saved it. I don't think I did. All right, so let's just run up on him again. Yeah, acceleration still too slow. And they're coupled together again. All right, start it up again, full speed. Okay, I'm going to bring that to zero. And they're coming together again. All right. That's probably as good as I'm going to get in terms of acceleration. And in terms of deceleration, I think I'm just going to drop that by. Oh no. No, I think I'll probably just leave it as it is. So. No, it's still, it's definitely too slow. Okay. I can look at the kickstart, but that hasn't been an issue with these two. So if one doesn't start up very well, um, uh, you know, at the low speed, and you might need to adjust the kick kickstart, but I haven't had to touch that. So, so that's basically the process. You just need to continue fiddling with those values until you're happy with it. Yeah. Okay. Accelerate deceleration is yeah yeah I, the problem is you're never going to get them right because the two locomotives are just too different um, but anyway so that's DCCEX toolbox speed matching.